Security forces in Egypt say they have killed three ISIS extremists involved in the murder of a Coptic Christian man. The man was kidnapped more than five months ago in the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. The extremists released a video showing the man being shot. Joining us now is Sarah Bazell, Communications Manager for In Defense of Christians. Sarah, welcome. Thank you so much for your time today. Uh, tell us, what more do we know about the man who was killed by ISIS and the reason why he was killed? Well, first off, thank you, Tracy, for, for having me on the show. As you mentioned, in November of 2020, a Coptic man by the name of Nabil Habashi was abducted by ISIS affiliates in Egypt. He, in fact, was a very active practitioner of the church there, and he actually helped build one of the only churches in the area. So his loss is truly felt by the community. Um, the video released shows him being uh, shot and uh, several other um, members of uh, the tribes there also shot in the Egyptian desert. And unfortunately, it has a chilling similarity to the 2015 abduction and beheading of the 21 Coptic men on the Libyan beach. Unfortunately, this is the reality for the Coptic community in Egypt. And uh, IDC grows more and more worried about the situation there. And Sarah, I understand um, that the three of the ISIS extremists uh, accused of the murder have been killed. Uh, do we know what happened to the others? And also, can you give us a sense uh, of the environment right now for Christians as a whole in Egypt? Thank you. Okay. Um, well, unfortunately, they don't know. The other three or four have been, um, they didn't weren't abducted or they weren't uh, taken uh, by the security forces. But what we do know is that ISIS does have several stakes in the country right now. There are uh, affiliates all over the world, especially in Egypt and other African countries. And while ISIS did lose a lot of its territory, its affiliates are still attacking uh, Christians and other minorities in a lot of these countries. I, I uh, Off the top of my head, I can think of Boko Haram in Nigeria being one of those affiliates that have truly taken ground these past couple years. And in Egypt, it's no different with uh, a number of different groups. In Egypt right now, the, commu the community faces a lot of um, pressure in terms of persecution physically, but also legally. In fact, um, as a, as the Christian uh, population there it, it constitutes 10 to 15 percent of the, the Egyptian population, but they lack a lot of the rights that um, their Muslim counterparts have in the country. And it, it grows into a lot of different issues where um, Coptic activists such as uh, Rami Kamel are detained for a year or a year and a half without any formal charges, or uh, Saad Sabat, uh, a woman who was dragged in the streets and stripped naked, her um, the the men that committed these crimes against her, their charges have been dropped. It's uh, things like this that have hindered the um, the Coptic community from truly being protected. And so it's not just physical violence they face, it is a lot of um, legal rights that they are being uh, denied. And uh, we're particularly worried as an organization for this upcoming Holy Week for the Orthodox community because we know that uh, time and time again they are persecuted and violence is um, uh, they are hit with violence during these um, these holy days. And so I, I'm look I'm thinking of the 2017 Palm Sunday attack that took the life of 45 uh, Coptic um, uh, people and a, a number of different attacks. So the Egyptian community. Um, of the, the Coptic community of Egypt does face a lot of violence, and there's really not much to do about it except um, make sure that the uh, the CC government works more to um, protect them legally. And in fact, one of the things that IDC is promoting is um, H uh, H Resolution um, 117, which supports Coptic rights and uh, Coptic Egyptians in Egypt. And we're continuing to push that in Congress, and that's one of the biggest things that we can do right now to support the community there. Well, Sarah, thank you so much for your time today and, and also for what you do, your organization. Sarah Bazile, Communications Manager for In Defense of Christians. Thank you again. Thank you.